Hi everyone. I've been picking for exactly a year now and I had a really, really good time uh, these past 12 months. I've learnt a lot and I uh, met some really, really great people. Um, for this video I'm just going to go start with this box of locks here. It's my done pile, so I have been picked before. Um, and I'm going to just have a bit of a pick a -thon. See how many I can pick um, till I don't know the camera runs out of storage, or um, I get bored, or you get bored, or my hands get tired, whatever. It's just fun to have a good picking session sometimes. I'm just going to use a few basic, a few of my basic tools um, for this. At the moment my kind of preference is um, starting with a worm rake. I've got two other types of rake here. Uh, should that not be successful? So yeah, let's get started. This is a, uh, a Euro spec six pinner. Start with the long worm rake. open already. And put the, dumb, the, uh, the picked pile just there. An unknown brand. How many pins is this? Five pins. Start the worm rig again. I normally give it about 10 goes uh, with, with the tool. There's no kind of sense that it's starting to open. But, uh, that was quite effective. Let's try that again. Uh, yeah, if there's no sense of it starting to open, I'll move to the next one. Yeah, I think that must have been a, Yeah, it's pretty, pretty easy with that tool. It's, it's easy to sort of fall into the pattern of just using the same, uh, same tools and get your favourite pick and just try and do everything with that. But, uh, what I hope this video will show is that uh, each lock has a has its own nemesis if you like, has a, has a particular tool which will open it nice and efficiently. This is another Euro spec, say five pinner. I've got so many locks here, I can't remember what those, what the best tools are for these, so I'm just going to go through um, just randomly, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a funny one, this is a, a spring at the back, it sort of pushes the pick, pick back out, I guess that's part of the kind of clutch mechanism in the middle of the lock. Not responding to the, uh, the long worm. I can't underestimate how light the tension needs to be. Almost so light that you can have it open and not even know it. Spec locks tend to be uh, standard pins, so it's a bit crunchy for the bottom. Guitar. Go back to the, the bendy worm, that one seems to be the most. We have kind of crunchy, sharp edges in this particular lock. Checking the can, make sure I haven't jammed it shut. Yeah, a few more, oh, there we go. I don't want to go on too long with each lock. Um, about a minute each, I guess. I'll find one that isn't a, uh, a Euro spec to pick on them. This is a Miller. 
quite good fun uh, to pick these. This is a, uh, what is this? Does it say on the key? It's not the thing anyway. I'm going to switch to uh, a more bendy worm. That seems to be successful so far. Again, super light tension. I can feel the pin setting through my thumb on the tension bar. That's not quite the right depth, so let's go for the more shallow, longer one. Just opens it straight away. Number four. This is a six pinner. I don't know the brand. Bring that back so you can see it. Setup is not the best. Okay, short tool worm again. I'm making up these names for the tools, by the way. They just have other nicknames. This is a kind of pattern that I've noticed of late that uh, you just have to find the right tool for the job. Uh, be successful. Okay, this is an era. Say six pinner. First lock with security pins in, so a bit uh, deeper worm. Okay, try and bog it out. It's giving us a false set. Switch to the hook for the first time. Finally, the spool. And what was it, Bogota? Switch back to the. Just pops us back into our second faucet. Find the, the binding pin at the back there. This one particularly, but uh, so many locks. Okay, 
Let's see. Open on pin three there. Okay, what's this one? It's another mirror. So Z wrench and um, that one. Okay, not much movement than that. Thumbs. Okay, let's open with the long worm. How do you find these? kind of long session more enjoyable and there's no kind of time pressure. Although the speed picking I did the, the previous video was pretty fun, it's, uh, it's, it's quite hard to do uh, actually on video and get a good a good result. It didn't ha it just happened that uh, it was quite close uh, last time I did that and so it could have gone uh, could have gone differently I'm sure. And then up only picking three locks or something. Yes, yeah, so that was a six pin mirror. This one, the security pins, whereas the previous one, which looked kind of identical, didn't.
don't want to play this one. But it's a full set of them. Oh, I don't know. Right, tell them to me. I'll just try this one. No, I'll put that in the, uh, the other pile down here. Got a this that secure fast, I think it says. to get this one back together. It's, the core is one of these ones that's machined out uh, all along so when you try and slide the core out um, all the pins just sort of spring up into these little machined out grooves. Um, carefully put it back together. It seems to be back to its normal state. Responsive, no feedback at all. We need the tools. Try the W8, it's quite good for forcing the issue. Right. Can't finish on a fail, can we? That's probably enough picking. I just want to say thanks to all the guys on uh, UK.sport uh, forum um, just for making my first year of picking a uh, yeah, really fun experience. Uh, I've learned a lot and uh, it's just been so much more enjoyable because of you guys. So thank you. And uh, thank you for watching the video.